Good morning, everyone. I'm Elisa. I'm Giselle. And I am Erin. We are sixth graders from Manchester Avenue Elementary School. Today, we will take you on a journey through Latin America. It will be an exciting journey to five amazing countries in Latin America. Get ready to learn some cool facts. First up, we're visiting Guatemala, known for its stunning volcanoes and ancient Maya sites. Did you know that Guatemala means land of forest? It's also home to the beautiful lake Atitlan. Imagine looking over a lake surrounded by volcanoes. I am joined by Deron, Javi, and Amaya to present a, a report about beautiful Guatemala. Hello, my name is Deron Barrios. I am in the sixth grade and I am with Manchester Avenue Elementary School. And we will teach you about the exciting Guatemalan facts and exciting history. Hello, my name is Javi Hernandez and I'm a sixth grader and I'm with Manchester Avenue Elementary School. Also, I'm going to talk about the amazing facts that Guatemala has. One of the most mind-blowing facts about Guatemala is that 22 languages are spoken in this country only and mostly is about Maya. Guatemala is mostly famous because of its volcanoes and how it's very exciting to see in real life. In Guatemala, football or, or soccer, how most people know it, is the most popular sport in Guatemala. And one fact about the Guatemala national team is it was founded in 19... 19. It has been affiliated to FIFA since 1946 and it has and has been a member of the Conga Craft League. Hi, my name is Aaron Solano and I am in the sixth grade with Manchester Avenue Elementary School with Communication and Broadcasting Magnet. One of the most famous dish slash food in Guatemala is Carta Picurian, the pina. And this food is mostly eaten in Guatemala and famous for its spices. Have you ever went to a beach that is in Guatemala? Because Guatemala has very nice and clear water and one of the beaches that is popular in Livington. So whenever you go to Guatemala, go swim in the fresh water with your family. Hi, my name is Amaya Brown and I am a sixth grader with Manchester Communication and Broadcasting. In this video, it shows the places in the capital of Guatemala, also how they found is national history and it's behind and is top five tortoise attractions. What did you learn about Guatemala? How many languages are spoken in Guatemala? Guatemala is famous for what? When was Guatemala's national soccer team founded? Wow, I had no idea that Guatemala was so beautiful and had so many volcanoes. Guatemala, it is beautiful. Next, we fly to Honduras. It's a country with rich history and natural beauty. Honduras is famous for the Copan ruins, an incredible site of ancient Maya civilization. And don't forget about the gorgeous Caribbean beaches. Here are Daneen, Aiden, Jordan, and Kobe to talk about the beautiful Honduras. Hi, my name is Daneen Espinosa Torres and we are with the Manchester Avenue Elementary School Communications and Broadcasting Magnet. And today we will be talking about Honduras. Who lived in Honduras before 1502? Well, the Mayans lived there before 1502. On the day of January 30th, 1502, that is when Christopher Columbus claimed it his territory. Where's the sacred bird located? The sacred bird is located close to the Mayans archaeological site of Copan. Scarlet Macaw is the bird's name. I am Aiden Trujillo and I'm going to be talking about the country of Honduras. I'll be covering major questions and answers of this beautiful country. What's the national sport and food of Honduras? Well, amongst most Hispanic sports, football is most. It's also a pie for Honduras. Honduras takes football slash soccer very seriously. Another question is why Honduras is called the Banana Republic. Well, if something is called that, it means the country is unstable which is true because Honduras has a, very, has a high crime rate. I'm Dorian Baker and I'll be uncovering the facts about the amazing country Honduras. Did you know that Honduras owns one of the oldest clocks in the world? That's right, the Comiaga Cathedral. Honduras' oldest clock was built in 1634 around the 1100 AD by the Moors. Many bats live in Honduras. Bats take up half of the country, being home to cute bat species like the fluffy Honduran white bats. There are usually 3.7 to 4.7 centimeters with orange ears, faces, noses, and wings. Imagine the, bun the bats taking half of Honduras. Let's talk about another fact up for the other half of it. 
Honduras was the first country to ban smoking in their own home. They enforced this law in 211. As this isn't legal, if a visitor or family member's complains, it will cost a huge fine. Hi, I'm Kobe Kors, and I'll explain when Honduras' first war started and ended. The first Honduras war was on February 2, 1924, when they fought against El Salvador, and their war ended on May 1924. There was a war between Honduras and El Salvador that lasted 100 hours, which in days is only four. So in total, Honduras', Honduras war lasted four days. Who lived in Honduras before 1502? When did Christopher Columbus clip the territory of Honduras? When was the Camiagua Cathedral built? Our third stop is El Salvador, the smallest country in Central America. But it's packed with adventure, from surfing at El Sunzal Beach to exploring Ruta de las Flores. There's so much to see. And pupusas. You can't miss trying this, trying this delicious traditional food. Here are Angel, Janet, Jonathan, Madison, and Eliza to tell us more about El Salvador. Hello, my name is Angel Villanueva, and I am a sixth grader at Manchester El Avenue Elementary School, Communications and Broadcasting Magnet. I'm with my classmates, Jonathan, Madison, and Eliza. I will be telling you who found El Salvador and how El, Sar how El Salvador got its name. Hi there, my name is Madison Charles and I'm a sixth grader of Manchester Avenue Elementary School Magnet Program and I'll be answering the question, what is El Salvador known for? Hi, I am Eliza Yanis and I will tell you when El Salvador gained its independence. Hi, my name is Jonathan Lewis and I am going to tell you why did El Salvador adapt to the U.S. dollar instead of their own and how El Salvador got its flag. Who found it El Salvador? Did you know that the person who found it El Salvador is Pedro de Alvarado? He found it El Salvador in September 15, 1821. What is El Salvador known for? El Salvador is known for volcanoes. The country got its nickname because so many volcanoes within its borders. When did El Salvador when did El Salvador gain its independence? El Salvador gained independence from Spain in 1821. Around the same time, Costa Rica, Guatemala, Honduras, and Nicaragua got their independence. Why well, did El Salvador adapt to the U.S. dollar instead of the, their own? Did you know El Salvador uses U.S. currency? El Salvador or El Salvador uses U.S. currency, but they did not have their own. El Salvador had their own currency. It was called the Colón. But they replaced the colon during the presidency of France, Francisco Flores Perez, the president of El Salvador. He chose the U.S. dollar because it helped with inflation and it grew close to the U.S. This is why El Salvador used the U.S. dollar instead of their own. Why did El Salvador get its flag? Well, I always wondered how it got its flag, but now I know. In 1822, a leader named Colonel Manuel Jose Arce of El Salvador is the person who made the flag. You see, today it was a blessing and you can thank this man who made this flag. Where did El Salvador get its name? Did you know that El Salvador got its name after Jesus Christ? The Spanish conquistador named Pedro de Alvarado named it after Jesus Christ, which is San Salvador, that, tra that translates for Holy Savior. But now San Salvador is the capital. The name El Salvador translates to the Savior. Who founded El Salvador? What is El Salvador known for? What was El Salvador's currency before it used the dollar? Now let's single our way to Argentina, a country famous for its dance, diverse landscapes, and of course, soccer. Speaking of soccer, Argentina is home to one of the most greatest soccer players ever, Lionel Messi. Imagine playing soccer in the shadows of the Andes Mountains. How cool would that be? My team, Elisel, Caden, and I took a deep dive to learn more about Argentina. Hi, my name is Elisel Balbuena, a sixth grader from Manchester Avenue Elementary School with Communications and Broadcasting Magnus Center. And I'm Giselle Stringfellow. Welcome to our interview about Argentina and Lionel Messi. And I'm Katie Molina. We will share fun facts and answer interesting questions about Argentina and Messi. Who is Lionel Messi? Lionel Messi is a famous football slash soccer player. Some people consider him the GOAT or the greatest of all time. He's very famous in Argentina and loved by people around the world. Messi's first ever team was Barcelona. Today they honor him as one of the legends. 
Here are some of Lionel Messi's greatest highlights in Barcelona. Messi! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Just when you think he's done everything, he comes up with something even more special. He is a god of the game. The god of the game. Messi. Oh, Messi! Now we will share a fact about the great country Argentina. Did you know the national drink of Argentina is yerba mate? What does this drink come from? The drink comes from a caffeinated plant in Argentina named Ilex Paraguayensis. Wow, that's a hard word to say. Anyways, back to Messi. I know that you signed contracts to join a football club like Barcelona, but I learned Messi's contract was different. What's so different about it? Messi's first contract was written on a napkin. This is why it's very different to other pro contracts. Who knew a napkin would start one of the best careers of football? Now another question. Why can't someone name their kid Messi in Argentina? The reason people can name their child Messi in Argentina is because it is a last name and they want it to stay that way. Finally, to end our interview, we will honor the woman that started Messi's career by looking at the celebration that he does to honor her. This woman is none other than his grandma. He honors her with a celebration that points to the sky because she passed away when he was just a boy. Thank you Thank for you tuning in. in. We, we hope, hope you enjoyed, enjoyed this. this. Who is Lionel Messi? What is the national drink of Argentina? What was Messi's first contract written upon? Last but not least, we head to Mexico, known for its vibrant culture and delicious food. From the ancient pyramids of Teotihuacan to the busy streets of Mexico City, there's so much history and excitement. And the food, tacos, enchiladas, and churros, yum. Here are Katie and Jaquan to talk about some of that food and other amazing things about Mexico. Hi, my name is Katie Quintana. Did you know there are many places for tourists to visit in Mexico? Well, here are some. Number one, National Anthropology Museum. It is also known for the world's largest collection of ancient Mexican art and also has infographic exhibits about Mexico's present day indigenous groups. Number two, San Miguel de Allende. San Miguel de Allende is also known for Baroque architecture, vibrant atmosphere, colorful streets, and friendly locals. Hi, my name is Jaquan Stringfellow, and I'm here to tell you about Mexican food. People in Mexico have many different opinions. There are many popular foods in Mexico that people like, but here are some popular ones. Number one is tacos. Tacos were made in the 18th century. People describe it as a gunpowder was wrapped in a paper like a taquito. Number two is tamales. No, more than 154,000 people attended the largest tamale festival in 2002. And did you know that the, long, that the longest tamale ever made is measured at over 164 feet long? Also, tamale is made out of a corn-based dough mixture that is filled with various meats or beans and cheese. Number three, enchiladas. Traditionally, the enchilada is a dish that features a tortilla wrapped around other foods such as meat, cheese, or vegetables. In its original form me as Mexican street food, it was a simple corn tortilla that street vendors will roll up and dip into chili sauce. Let me tell you about Mexican folk art. In Mexico, folk art may include wedding alerijas, free of a life, of life pottery, Yucatan hammocks, and finally blown glassware from Jalisco. Now I will tell you about a famous person from Mexico. A famous person in Mexico that I know is Diego Rivera. Diego Rivera was born on December 8, 1886. He was famous for making amazing paintings. He was even considered the best Mexican painter of the 20th century. 
Here are some fun facts. Did you know that Mexico's population is estimated at 130,980,000 people? Also, Mexico is the home to the is the home of the largest pyramid. In addition, soccer is the most popular sport in Mexico, played by over 8 million people. What are some places for tourists to visit in Mexico? What are some popular foods in Mexico? How is enchiladas made? What an amazing journey we had today. Which country would you like to visit? We hope you enjoyed exploring these beautiful Latin American countries with us. Thanks for joining us on Journey to Latin America. See you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.